Yeah, here we go. Yep. 256 amps on the 100 amp circuit breaker? Yep. How's that possible? Let's go. Let's start with this one. But always put a hand on the panel. Yes. Never let go of it. Never let go of yeah. The Never let go. You have to always keep pressure on it. Because you don't know if these screws are any good or not. Mm -hmm. Keep your hand on it. Yep, keep your hand on it. Do the left side first and the right side or the doesn't matter. Doesn't okay. matter. Yep. Hold it. It's gonna come right off. Now you wanna take that, put it off to the side. Okay. And the same configuration. Put your hand on it. Good. What we can do now is let's do an infrared scan. Like no load on that at all. So this breaker could be defective. Okay. We always want to do an infrared scan. All right, now we want to take off the dead pump. We're going to see some hardware here. Yep. See that? There's a bracket here. There's a bracket here. Yep. And there's a bracket on the bottom. Yep. And a bracket on the bottom. We want to remove these screws in that bracket. You're going to take off these two screws. You yep. don't want to do that. You want to use this hand. Yes. Put, that, put your hand straight on this, okay. push pressure on it. Not too hard, but just so it doesn't fall. Now go. Good. 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 Now you want to switch hands. Yes. Yes. Let me help you. Let me help Now, this is going to come out and up. Now I want to make sure I don't trip any of these breakers off. So I want to make sure I pull it straight back and then out. Okay, so we're looking good. I want to do a visual inspection. It seems pretty good. Put my amp probe. Okay. Yeah, you can hear it right there. Yeah. Okay, so let's remove, we're going to remove this breaker. Now, what we want to do is, we want to make sure we label this brown, orange, yellow. Yep. So, yeah. Or, what we can do for now is take one off, put it on the other one, let's just do that. We're going to need a regular straight screwdriver. Flat. Yep. Copper wire. Copper yeah. wire. Side wire. It looks like, uh... See, I can go one hand here on this. Yeah. This is live, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I got one hand. Let me get a nut driver. It looks like... Oh, this looks like quarter inch. Quarter inch. Okay. okay, one at a time. Okay. So the bus looks good. So now I'm going to switch. I'm going to take that spare out. Of one hand. Yep. Good. Wow, these are very loose. That's probably why. Break time. See how this is, this looks loose, but that's just the way it is. Yeah. So these type of lugs are designed to make sure they're pushed all the way in mm -hmm. and make a good connection. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Make sure I'm in all the way. I want you to look at this, Chris. Yeah and tell me, if you wanted to install more of these breakers, how could you do it on this bus? You need to order a strap kit. A strap kit is needed. A strap kit based on the size of the breaker. Like this is a 400 amp rated strap kit, and these are rated for 100 amp each one, okay? So one strap kit will allow for two breakers. So this is one strap kit for this, one strap kit, one strap kit, one strap kit, one strap kit. Okay? okay? And then obviously you have to shut this down. You have to mount, okay, self-tapping yeah. screws to mount the strap kit. Okay, I see. Alright, we ready to go now. If you look, you can see these little teeth here. Yeah. That's going to go right onto the back of the breaker. And you don't want to use a drill here. Yeah. You want to use your hand. Yeah. Okay. So I can feel it. Every thread going in. Yeah. 
Now, I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'm going to leave it a little loose so I can get my other ones in. AC amps, min max, mm -hmm. and we're going to put it on, and let's see what happens. 66, watch what happens when it gets ready to start. 66 amps? No, it's 0. .66 amps right now. Wow. Yeah, so there's an issue with the load. Yeah. Let's see how much it surges up to. More range. There. There go. So what I've done, I've moved the decimal point over so we can see exactly what this thing is going to pull. 256 amps. 256 amps it yeah. pulled? Mm How? -hmm. Oh. oh, wait. It's a 256 amps on the 100 amp circuit breaker? Yep. How's that possible? In rush current. That's way too high. That's what the problem is. Oh. How the... How come the breaker didn't trip though? Because it's not enough to trip the circuit breaker. It's a it's a quick inrush. Okay. Let's see what it's great, what it's running at. 32 amps, yeah. So that's what it is. So let's put this other breaker back in, close it up, and let him know that he's got an issue on the roof. Yep. Let's close her up. It's the load, not the breaker, right? Right. It's the load, not the breaker. Mm -hmm. So if you look, see this little spot right here? This is the bracket. The Z bracket, you yeah. see that? That fits into these little slots here, see them? Yeah. There's three slots. But explain to viewers what you're uh, putting in. How do you put this circuit breaker in? So there's a Z bracket here. Yeah. And I want to make sure that aligns to these little indents in the breaker. Yeah. So I'm going to align that in. And then I'm going to align it into the bus. Like that. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to take my screws. Yeah, I see the bracket. Nut driver? Nut driver here. Now we're going to put it in the bottom. Sometimes there's a little part of the goes in the bottom. But now I want to line it up to the breakers. Okay? You don't want to use a nut drill, right? Or you want to use a drill? You can use a drill right now if you don't have any. I have a three, three nut driver. What is that one? Left. Okay. Set the bottom in first. Nope. Yep. 